In this video we're going to look at templates in Word and how you can use those to help you with writing a thesis. It's actually a very good idea if you are writing a large document like a thesis to have a separate template. This is due to the fact that you're likely to want to have a number of different customizations in your thesis that don't apply to other documents that you're going to want to work with in Word. So it's a way of keeping things discreet and um, separate from your, your general work. So all I've done here is I've created a uh, simple document and I've put an address in. This might be because I'm sending off a lot of letters to prospective employers, for example, and I don't want to have to recreate the address every single time, particularly if I've put a lot of effort into it, which I clearly have here. So all I'm going to do in order to save this as a template is go to File, I'm going to go to Save As, you don't need to worry about where this document's going at the current time because um, the, the, the primary consideration is making sure that the file extension is correct. So what we're after here is a Word template and you'll see you've got a couple of different options there. We want the simple Word template with the file extension DOTX. So as soon as I click on that, and this is why you don't need to worry about the location, is that it direct you off to the custom office templates folder. So that's a new feature in 2013 and regardless of whether you're working in Word, PowerPoint or Excel, if you select a, a template based document it will actually take you to this folder. So it's a convenient central location to store all of your template uh, files in. That isn't to say you can't save this file somewhere else. You can, but um, this is just a very uh, straightforward um, location to save your template. So I'm just going to go ahead, leave the file name as it is, and save it to the custom office templates folder. So if I have a look at the, the, the top here where the, uh, the file name is, I can see that that is now saved as a, uh, a template, a DOTX file, which is reassuring. Uh, and that's all I'm going to do for now. So I'm just going to go to File and I'm going to close that down. Now in order to generate a document based on a template, all I need to do is I need to go to File, I then need to go to New, and then if I click on Personal here, that will pull up any documents that I've saved from within Word to the custom office templates folder. And there you can see my address um, template. So if I just click on that, you'll see that I end up with the same details that I had on screen before. But this time, this is just a, a new document rather than um, the template itself. So I could go ahead and I could save this just as a bog standard document. I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to close that down. Um, if I want to alter the template itself, so let's say for example I want to change um, something about the, the layout or the date or the actual um, address location, what I would need to do is open the template itself. So rather than file new this time, I'm going to navigate to file open. I'm going to have to either find it in my long list of files here or I can just go through and locate it by going to computer. I can browse and I can go to my custom office templates folder and open it up from there. And you'll see the difference. Um, we've now gone into the template itself. So here I could make amends uh, to that document and then just file save would write those changes to the template. So. It's very, very straightforward to work with templates. They're, in essence, they're bog standard documents with a different file extension. The critical thing is uh, remembering a way you've saved that uh, template and to create a new document based on the template, not work with the template itself. So as you uh, generate your thesis, as you start to work with it, um, it would pay dividends to create yourself a thesis template that you can modify uh, so that all of the modifications pertain just to your thesis and won't affect anything else.